welcome back to part three of Feel the Beat with FL Studio. Now we can go into some of the included sound generators and manipulators. We'll look at different synths and samplers and show their basic functions and change up the sounds we are using for our song. First, let's look under Channels, Add One, and choose the TS-404 Bassline Synthesizer. You can also open one of these by right-clicking the Sequencer window and choosing Insert. If we draw in some steps on our new layer, you can hear that it produces a musical note. We can use the keyboard editor to make individual notes higher or lower to find a melody that works for us. In the Sequencer window, double-click the TS-404 layer to open the module itself. We can see that this synth is made up of different sections that affect the sound it produces in different ways. It has two oscillators or sound generators here. We can change the type of sound wave it produces, the pitch of the wave, and how the two waves are mixed together here. Also, we can use the envelope to change the shape of the notes with these knobs. Below that, the filter section can be used to change the quality of the sound. Basically, we can make the sound brighter or darker depending on the settings. The LFO section can give the sound movement or vibrato, and the distortion section does what you would expect. Next, let's look at the WASP. Again, right-click the Sequencer window and choose Insert. If we look briefly at the controls, we can see that they are quite similar to the TS-404, but laid out differently. These are basic synth controls, and most synths should have these options we discussed available. They're just laid out a little differently. Experiment with different presets to find your sound. Now let's look at something different. Open an FPC, which is our basic drum machine plugin. Click on the Content Library menu and take a look at the available kits. You may have to download some of these samples, but they're not very big at all. Now simply double click a kit to load it, and we can listen to the sounds using the pads here. What's great about this plugin is that we can load MIDI loops here and they are automatically loaded into the sequencer window. You can try out different combinations of kits and MIDI loops until you get what you were looking for. There are a lot of different options and some modules have different settings using the preset buttons at the top right corner of the module or under the drop down menu top left. the options for different channels that we can add will give us different flavors for our song. Again, experimentation is key and the possibilities are endless. In our next installment, we will look more closely at the piano roll and use it to add some more complex melodies to our song. Remember, there are 10 parts in this tutorial, so be sure to check out the other episodes in the Feel the Beat with FL Studio series.